it's that time again where my very small closet is getting too full for its own good. I've done two other videos like this of like rebuilding my closet and my wardrobe and just trying to get my wardrobe to a place where I like every single thing in there and I wear every single thing and I'm still working on it. So in this video, I wanna take everything out of my closet and then go back through and like hang everything up and then not hang up the things that I'm gonna donate or sell. Cause I feel like that way, like looking at things in my closet, my clo my closet's color coordinated. So like everything just kind of looks like it's fit into a place. Not everything belongs in here because I don't wear a lot of stuff in here. I also have some clothes that I wanna share with you guys that I got, uh, some things that I've collected. Some of my favorite pieces that I've been wearing, some of you guys have been asking me where they're from. Also just new things that I haven't really gotten a chance to wear yet. I'm gonna start with that first, just because hauls are fun. Let's move to my clothing rack that I just bought that I don't have a place for in my room because my bin where I put all my clothes that I'm donating takes up a really big space in my room and I need to get rid of it so then I can put my clothing back there. Okay, come along. Mm. Why do you want out? You just came in. Who's calling me at this hour? Hi, mommy. Okay, welcome to my clothing rack that I don't have a space for right now. So it's literally just in the middle of my room. But I just wanted to show you guys some things that I've got recently. This video is actually sponsored by ThreadUp, which if you don't know, ThreadUp is the world's online biggest thrift store. Uh, not all these are from ThreadUp. I have a lot more stuff too. ThreadUp is an app. It's literally a thrift store, but like in an app, which is really nice because then it has like different features. Like you can like actually organize things. There's like search bars. So you can search for specific brands and items that you like. So that is what I do to find my clothes. I literally just look up like specific things or just brands that I really like and browse through there. ThreadUp is offering you guys a 30% off discount with your first purchase by clicking the link down below. Uh, I'm dumb. I didn't even see my code. My code is Avery, just my name. You can use code Avery to get 30% off. So thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring. I'm gonna show you guys some stuff I got from there. I also forgot to mention in this video because I mentioned in like every video, I feel like that I mentioned clothes or clothing that I'm trying to be more sustainable when it comes to my closet. And since ThreadUp is secondhand, that's why I really like using it because it's just more sustainable. Therefore, it's better for the environment. Okay. The first thing I got, are these pants. They're Adidas pants. Yes, I'm wearing Nike with Adidas. Is it a crime? Maybe. I'm also wearing shoes in my house. Is that also a crime? Throw me in cuffs, what? I don't got anything else to say. I just wanted to be fitted up today. These pants are the kind of pants that you throw on to like go to the grocery store or go run errands because it's like you don't really want to wear jeans but then you also don't want to wear sweats because then it's like you just look lazy and unpresentable but then you don't want to wear jeans because they're uncomfortable and too fancy so then you find the perfect medium which are these pants. These Adidas pants were estimated to be $71 and I got them for $25. These Adidas pants were estimated to be $71 and I got them for $25.99. The next thing I got is this white button up. It's really heavy, which I like because it would be perfect for winter. It kind of has grandma vibes, but like in a good way. I don't know. I have some outfit ideas with this and that's kind of how I determine if I should buy something or not. If I can think of like an outfit in my head. I have my iPad. I'm looking at the notes I wrote. I feel like Robbie <laughs> from Victorious when he has like his giant pear pad. <laughs> I love Victorious. We all love Victorious. But this was estimated to be $119 and I got it for $29.99. So I got this cashmere Calvin Klein sweater, which was estimated to be $143 for uh, $32.99. I'm really excited to wear this. I've already worn it once, but I'm gonna act like I didn't. The next thing I bought, this is from ThreadUp. I really like collars under sweaters and stuff. This is from the brand called Ovi. I think it's how you say it. I've never heard of that. This was estimated to be $36 and I got it for $14.99. The next thing I got is so basic. It's a shirt, love green, as I've mentioned, but it's from Anthropology. I've been needing just like really simple, like colored t-shirts. I look like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. As my boyfriend keeps telling me because I keep stealing his. So I got this one. This was estimated to be $38 and I got it for $11.99. Okay, that was everything from ThreadUp. Once again, 30% off discount by clicking the link below. Go do it if you are interested. Uh, thanks to them for sponsoring. The next thing I got, I am so excited for. And it's this also Grandma Vibes uh, cardigan. But like, I think it's just so beautiful and I love the colors. The buttons are nice. Just like how it's knitted is nice. It's heavy, which I like because it's getting really cold here. And I don't know, I just, I am so happy with this. I believe this was $140, which is a lot, but this is something that I will have for like a really long time. I was actually looking into buying this for quite some time and I was like, I, right, it's time to pull the trigger, baby. So. I bought it. Moving on to pants. The next thing I have are these brown pants. These pants are made out of hemp. So I got these brown pants. I believe 
These were around $100. I got two colors. I know $100 is a lot for pants. Investing in good pants, I think is a good idea because if you bought like four pairs of $25 pants, but then they get ruined within like six months, just because the quality is not good, then that's $100 down the drain when you could have just had one pair that lasts you for a really long time. That's my logic when I buy more expensive things is how long will I use it for? Is it worth it if I bought other things that weren't as good quality? Like would it eventually make up that total, if that makes sense. These are the same as the brown pants that I was talking about. It's just a more tan color. The next set I have is also from a sustainable place, but these are definitely out of people's price ranges, which I am fully aware of, but they are super, super nice pieces. They actually gifted these to me, which I am very thankful for. So this is just a like gray sweater. I really like the shape of it. Like the silhouette is really nice. And then it just has this cool little like button detail up here. And then along with that, they sent me a matching skirt, which is like knee length, also has like the same button details and it comes with like a cool little belt thing. They sent me this beautiful coat, which I know I will have for so long just because the quality is so nice. This is a little bit more formal, but I'm sure I could get away with like making it every day because you can wear what you want whenever you want. Was that too bright the whole time? Okay, back to my closet. First things first is this section of my closet. So this is my hoodies. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of my hoodies because they're all either my boyfriend's or my friend's merch. Oh, you got a haircut, huh? You were so mad, Ed. You needed a haircut so bad. Moving on down here. So I have all my shoes down here. I need to move this art stuff. Last time I made one of these videos, I gave a lot of shoes second chances to be worn by me. And I didn't wear lots of them. So I'm just gonna really quickly go through and say what I'm gonna keep. Black Converse, wear these multiple times a week, keeping. My platform, Doc Martens, I mentioned earlier, wear these multiple times a week also. Good for winter, keeping. Gym shoes, keeping. These really edgy kind of gothic looking Doc Martens, keeping. These cool custom yellow Converse that have Eevee on them, keeping. These pastel pink Converse I got from Urban Outfitters forever ago and I've never really seen another pair like them, keeping, even though they're pretty dirty, but. These cool Nike shoes that kind of look like Ness from Super Smash Bros. shoes, they're really cool, but I never wear them, so donate. The one and only pair of Vans I have, honestly, I don't wear these that much. Uh, I usually only wear these when I skateboard, which is a rare occasion because I'm really scared of getting hurt, but I'll keep them. These gingham pink shoes are so cute, but I never wear them either. I think I've worn them once and I think they're from Nasty Gal. Yeah, I never wear them, even though they're really cute, but I just never wear them. These white docks, I really never wear these, so I'm probably gonna donate these. As cute as they are, I never wear them. These pink, um, I don't even know what these are called, Nike Technos, I think, I never wear them. I think they're really you, I just never wear them. These really old tennis shoes, donate. Another pair of heels from Nasty Gal, I never wear, but I think they're cute, but I never wear them. These white shoes from Topshop, I don't remember buying, but I wear them in the summer and I think they're cute. These nude shoes are kind of like my go-to fancier dress-up shoes, so I'm just gonna keep those. These white boots, I really like the silhouette of these. Keeping, time for the main part of my closet. My shirts and my dresses. This giant box takes up a lot of space, so I'm gonna move that under my bed. This is a Christmas present for my boyfriend that he already knows I bought him because I suck. This is accessories, this is a thing full of receipts, this is the Teza wall thing that's on my wall, but I have another one in different patterns, obviously. And then I have two shoe boxes that's just full of receipts. So then I just have some stuff over here that I want to keep up higher and not get ruined by other things. This is just another thing of accessories and then this um, what's in there? And then this just has like my recording mic, some notebooks, just random stuff like that. So I am gonna rearrange some of that stuff, but that's not really the main part of this video. I'm just gonna show you guys like what I'm getting rid of and why. Let's start. I'm just gonna go through these one by one. Okay, let's start smaller then. It's getting so dark. This shirt I'm donating. This black bodysuit, honestly, I'm really questioning whether I should keep this. This does not work for my 5'8 body. And then I spent another 25 minutes doing this whole entire process to my whole entire closet. Um, everything you see that I don't hang back up means that I donated it. My donate pile is huge. Um, and when I say donate, it's donate slash resell. But I wanted to just kind of show you guys like all the clothes that I have, you know, those videos that are like showing you every single piece of clothing item that I have in my closet. Yeah, I kind of wanted it to be like a mix of that because you guys don't really see like everything that I have and those videos are pretty interesting. But this is literally 25 minutes of footage and that just did not work for this video. So um, yeah. 
Here's this footage all sped up. I hope you enjoyed. That's why I like to keep my closet color coordinated because then if I'm like, oh, I want a blue shirt or I'm wearing this color pants and the complimentary color is this, so I wanna wear that, whatever. It's easier to find. I just realized I have no orange things. Okay, it's getting dark. I'm gonna hurry into my hoodies because I know I'm not getting rid of any. Sometimes I just speak and it doesn't even sound like English. Like Ava Jules merch, uh, Kennedy Walsh merch, and Billie Eilish merch. Haley Fan merch, Ariana merch, and Alex merch. This Ariana crew neck is really cute, but like if I want something really comfy, I have other crew necks I like better or I would gravitate towards a hoodie. So I think there's an Ariana fan that would much rather have this than me. Hannah Maloche merch, a hoodie that actually has my at name on it that my manager got me for Christmas. A Couple years ago. My boyfriend's hoodie and my boyfriend's hoodie. Yes, I am that girl. What can I say? Brockhampton hoodie, Summer McKean merch, and my Fammy merch. An absent hoodie, Kennedy Walsh merch, and uh, Ryan Trahan clothing line. Troy Savon merch, and Marla Catherine merch. Okay. I'm also gonna do my jackets really fast because that is part of this. You already know I'm keeping this. It is as comfy as it looks. This is, I think this is, this isn't really a bomber jacket. It's kind of like a puffer slash a bomber jacket, I believe. It's cheetah print. This is something that I would see on Pinterest and pin and be like, yeah, that's really cute. But then like now that it's in my closet, I wouldn't really know how to wear it because it's just not really my style. If I'm debating, I should probably get rid of it. I have this really cool coat that I haven't gotten to wear yet because it's been too hot but um, I am excited to wear it, so. Keeping that. This jean jacket that I got, I actually really like. I like the two-tone. Um, oh, frick, all my jackets are falling off the hangers that I'm holding. So, keeping this jean jacket, keeping this green puffer jacket, I think it's really cute. I don't even know where it's from. I feel like it might be from Brandy, but I'm not sure. The next three things I'm actually are going to donate. I have this denim jacket that I don't wear. This was Aspen's from Forever Go and she left it at my house and I was really excited because I wanted to wear it and now I don't wear it anymore. And then this blazer that's really cool, but it's too small. This denim jacket I got years ago, which you can clearly tell is from Forever 21 because of how many like holes are in it. Uh, that's not my style. Another denim jacket that's really nice. This is literally from Free People. I just don't think I'll ever wear it. One last thing, another one of my boyfriend's hoodies. Wait, this goes perfect because there's gray right here. And then this is all red and this is red and gray. And then I'm gonna move this yellow one. I am so sweaty and very tired and very thirsty. I need water. Wow, the sunset is so pretty. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm not gonna go to bed. Um, I'm gonna continue this tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed later. See you tomorrow. Good evening, today is day two. The last thing I have to do is my pants and then just kind of mess around with stuff up here and then I'm done and then just clean up the rest of my room because it is a mess. So I actually cut it out, but earlier I talked about some shoes that I really liked when I was showing you guys my clothes, but I cut it out just because I talked about them for literally so long. But on this shelf above all my uh, clothes, I just put some of my like nicer things that I didn't really want to get ruined. And then I took down this big bin, put it under my bed, put these accessory boxes up there that fit like a glove. Um, and yeah, so I just kind of did some rearranging as you will. How trippy was that? Okay, goodbye. So starting with pants. My first hanger is these low rise jeans from Brandy Melville that don't fit good. And also I didn't really know that they were low rise. So um, I'm gonna donate these. Next, I have these shorts that I wear often and then this black skirt. I'm still trying to figure out how to style, but um, I do really like it. it. Has It's like asymmetrical, it's really cool, but I'm just still working on how to style it. I have my more fun pants. I have this pair of yellow jeans and then this really cool patterned pair from Madewell. Um, I do wear these, so keeping those. Next, I have some plaid powdered pants, my favorite Acne Studios jeans, keeping all those. Um, another pair of jeans that I thrifted that I really like. And then some polka dot pants from Forever 21 I got forever ago. I'm gonna get rid of those. And then these other plaid pants from And Other Stories. These have, they've had their time. I also have a black pair of jeans from Acne Studios that I wear all the time. Definitely not getting rid of these. Moving on. Oh my god, these ending like panning shots are killing me. They are so horrible. I was so tired when I filmed this. I have no idea what these even are. <gasps> why do they look like that? Literally why? When I started this yesterday, I had literally no hangers. My clothes to hanger ratio was literally like one to one. So now, 
yeah, I got rid of a lot of stuff. It looks so much better and just so much cleaner and I'm really happy with it. So, um, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. I'm probably not gonna do another like closet video for a while just because I know they get a little bit repetitive and I am really happy with my closet right now. Also, thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring. Once again, you can go click their link down below for 30% off your first purchase. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna start editing this video. Goodbye. This is so much clothes that I need to get rid of.